hello everybody. It's me. Major Malfunction. What's going on? I'm gonna be doing another one of these workshops here on Arena. I'm loving them. Um, so this one, Uncharted Paths. I don't know why and where they're coming up with these not so cool names that are related to the decks. It seems like they just kind of pick it out of a hat and then run with it. But this time it's a uh, dog versus cat. Aha! It's, it's, it's a, a Court 21 showcase of dogs and cats. Um, the sub-theme of the set. So let's take a look in here at what the decks actually look like. So for kitty cats, you're going to be playing uh, on the plains, swamps, and broccolis. What do we got here? It's the first to me. I, I haven't opened these yet, so I'm seeing it anew. So it looks like you are going to get a little companion here in order to start off. Um, not too fond of that, but I bet it works fairly well. Prey upon, adventure Paul, swallow holes, garrison cat, pride mate. All right, so it looks to be going off of a lot of life link. Sovereign reprint, yeah, and protection from dogs. Mutate. Of course, you got to get a Johnny in there. So they're really showcasing the past few sets here, which is it's nice, but I'm, I'm as you've already heard me say, I'm not too fond of the cute decks. But I'm gonna give it a try. So this one looks a lot like the uh, the Good Boys or the uh, Good Doggo deck that's going on right now. The Selfless Dog. You've got Alpine, Hound Master, to pull out things. Some burn. Uh, so there's Pack Leader to get that tribal going for you. Bolt Hound. Now this one doesn't make sense to me. This one does. Um, the cat deck immediately looks better to me. But I'm a dog guy. So let's go with the Bow Wows first. See how we do. All right, stay tuned and uh, let's see how we do with cats and dogs. All right, doggy time. Bow wow. And it's a kitty cat deck, isn't it? Is people are gonna look at the decks and realize. It is almost impossible to win with the dog deck. I will be absolutely astonished. Um, the dog deck too, you basically have to win within... Yeah. You basically have to win within the first, like, three turns. It's not an easy feat. But, at least I gotta go first. Which means nothing, because I think there's one drop cats and there's no one drop dogs. Let's get the maximum value out of this. Yeah, we're gonna take action. We're gonna get one, two, submit. Now he knows what's coming at him. There he goes and removes. Nope, no removal. Alright. Let me play that. Hmm. Now that would be interesting, because typically you want to do dogs. That's what you think, right? But do I? Do I, do I? Hmm. Cool there. I don't have the attacking ability yet, so I'll pass. Two and Johnny's to contend with now. Look at you being smart. Look at you, smarty pants. I'm gonna pay the two life. I'm going to play out with these humans as fast as possible. We're going to take action. 
I'm gonna grab another one of those dogs. They didn't put enough of them in here to actually make it potent enough. And it wants me to do that, but I'm not going to. Now, I wish I had some kind of defense set up. Because these things, as you know, the Injani primates, they beef up a little fast. And I have nothing to protect my stuff with. So it's, it's not a very smart or wise choice that I chose these. And they're probably chuckling away, and there'll be another ruined video. Um, well, let's just see what happens here. Not being too salty. So what I could do... Let's play a Bolt Hound. That's three. I don't think that's a good enough value. Um, let's play another one of these. save you. I can cast that out and then make him wonder what we have left with that one mana. And I'm not going to attack it. What I'm looking for is actually the uh, that weird human where I was just like what the heck's the purpose of this? Because what I want him to do is swipe. I want him to get breaks and, and swing. Because I don't want to block. I want him to tap out. I got these two here. I just need one more mana. Yeah. At least I got this. Then I got three. So I can save the doggies. Right? But no attacks yet. I want to wait. I really want him to swing. I don't think he will, though. I've got too much defense set up. Or that's what he's going to think, at least. And he knows as soon as he does, he's done. So he's going to keep just picking away and removing stuff on me. Up his own I'm also sorting cards here in my hand while I'm doing this video. I'm trying to dismantle a very failing spirit deck that I built. Yeah, he's, I, I guess I should have swung sooner. Um, I really need to find two spells. Oh, that's interesting. So I can do that. Cool. So I can protect more of my guys here. He's got four, so he can block most of my stuff. No attacks. Then turn. So, pretty much, if I can get another one of these icons of Ancestries out, or that red-white dude, I can win. I don't have Vigilance. What happens if you hit me? Yeah, alright. Let's see what happens here. No box. Come get some. And it untapped. Oh, it did have Vigilance. Great. Oh, there's another wasted video. built up too fast, and it's just... Just not enough stuff here. Pack leader in. Yep. He's got the four. Just 
annoying because it's like one more hit and he gets me. That guy's giving him all vigilance, eh? Dramatic music plays. I just want him to try to swing with this guy then. That's the only thing that I can really wait for. Not only is he way too deep. He didn't mutate anything, so he wants to go wider. There's stuff in the dog deck, at least, that you can actually use to keep things safe. Um, of course, we're gonna use that right away. That's dumb. Um, Cause I'm gonna use it on. What should I use it on? I'm gonna just use it on you. Off. My turn. All right, here we go. Dog. There we go. Next. Now I can. I wish I didn't have the pack leader, but I can go all attack. Pull back the pack leader. Attack seven. Done. Right? Next. Let him declare his blockers, and then I'm gonna pump. Oh, you didn't think of that, did he? Alright. Oh! What? He just realized he messed up. Boom. So a little bit of patience there. Got the win. He just saw he lost his whole barn state. So, booyah. The dogs can win. You just have to be patient. Where Boros normally just want to attack, 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 attack. So, got proven wrong there with just being a little patient and actually just muddling him in on my own terms. Uh, I took the win with the doggies. Alright, I might have messed up some of the audio on the next one. Depends how I want to actually arrange these things. Um, but you know what, I'll spoil it anyways. I just play with dogs, I won. Um, we'll see what goes on with the, the kitty kitty. Playtime. I'll put this video up sooner than later, too. Guys, I really hate pushing it off for the next week when these events are here. I, I want to get you guys excited, actually, I want to play these. I... <laughs> oh, so it, lo it looks like the way it's doing it is it's purposely pairing up dogs versus cats. So they're going to get to go first. So that's what it looks like, the, the arrangements is your dogs, you get to go first. Not a great mana base. Um, I don't have any early plays. I would have really preferred to be able to drop Pride Mate out early. Um, I just don't have it. Hmm. So this this is a bit of a, 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 a tough call. I'm gonna keep to see how it goes. I'll probably stop the video and make another one. It's a really weight heavy deck. So I, it just kind of stinks that it didn't give me what I was hoping for. But what I could do is play the Fable, uh, Fable Passage. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I'll play the Fable Passage. Crack up the ability to find the planes. That's what we need. And it goes. It would have been nicer to play it in the back nine, but whatever. So I'm gonna want to do end Johnny. The 
gonna let him hit me. Then I'm gonna play the Sage. To build up a bigger threat. Or I could play the Sovereign. You know, they'll do something similar. What? Lava coil? When I was playing the puppers, I didn't have any lava coils. Oh man, that is so not cool. Um. Darn, that really destroys my momentum. Um. Who earns? I just played a land, I thought. What's that? Oh, because I can cycle. That is why. He's got that, so he could hit me for three. Let's see if he has another lava coil. I'm gonna drop a cubborn, and then I'm gonna play. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, the music just cut out. There's a bug. There you go. Now we're back in business. Um. Yes. Then, you know what? I'm gonna... Am I gonna do this wrong? This creature mutates. So I wanna cast that down on the battlefield. I know it says that. Mutates. Uh, I want the two bodies. His pants are down. He could double block, essentially. I don't want him to double block. Let's do that. I wouldn't mind that. Interesting. Yeah, you can't bump it anymore. Well, for some reason he wanted to destroy himself. I don't see why. Um, do we want... Well, I'm gonna play the Triome. Still have four lands. I could play a Johnny. Make my stuff stronger. I will teach you humility if I must. Turn okay. back while you still can. So you can blog with this Dogo, but that's not really gonna do much. Yep, I'm just gonna just wait a beat. I think he thinks he's got something here. So he still can reach me with a lava coil if he gets a second one. Very nice. So that means he's got one or two more of those doggos in there. There's an additional cost to the spell. Tap an untapped creature you control. Exile tapped creature. Put one more counter on tapped creature to pay for its additional cost. Alright. Can I pay for its mutate ability? It's expensive. All right, I'm gonna hold on to you. Hmm. The vigilance 
Nice. We were not destined to fight. Right, he's out of reach. Right, he just wants to hold on. Right. Pushing him to panic. This is so unbalanced. For ten, that brings him to five. Yeah. Should have still been my turn. So I don't know why it didn't give me the chance to do that. That's only one. So the game messed up right there. Not quite sure what happened. Um, not a big fan of that. Eh, you know what? Just pay the two life. I can afford it. Things getting healthy now. I can go. I can mutate this, right? Nope, can't mutate it yet. Alright, let's pay this. Yeah, oh. Wanna... There you go. Put you on the battle here. Now he's worried. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Yeah. Benefits of peace. It's just a walkover. This guy should just get angry and quit. I would. Indefinitely. Mike Rose is bored. Again, slowly wiping out his board piece by piece. This guy's almost empty handed. Um, I, I can't see this guy enjoying this game whatsoever. I wouldn't. Let's try this again. You take this. It's totally going over. Yeah, I don't have any of those. So maybe I should have held on to that. Um I'm gonna gain some more life here. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Yeah, do you see the benefits of peace yet? You're gonna have to block that one cub warden and the other cub warden. No. You're doing it wrong, buddy. Yeah. You wanna block these two? Oh, he didn't he didn't look at the board. That's too bad. Kitty gets her way overpowered, folks. So that wasn't a quick one. That actually got stretched out quite a bit. Surprised he messed that up. Um, that's too bad. Sorry, bud. I wish you well. Well, there you have it, folks. Dogs versus cats. On the workshop. Or as... This likes to claim it as, uh, Uncharted Pass. Um, wizards. Make dogs better. That's my advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe.